Hey everybody. Um, so for today's demo, I'm going to be showing you a couple of different things. I'll try to keep this one shorter. Um, I have the Micro Pro grill here and you'll see in one of the pictures and posts later today a dessert that I made in this, a really delicious dessert. But what's neat about this is um, how versatile it is. It can do desserts. I primarily use it for meat. I'll be showing you hot dogs today because those uh, cook fairly quickly. I do uh, chicken sausage in here, turkey burgers, beef hamburgers, chicken, salmon. Um, you can do grilled cheese in here. It's really, really nice. And there's there's two different positions that you put the lid. The grill position is where the lid fits right in. It will be at varying degrees of height depending on what you have in there, obviously. And then this is the casserole position and it kind of rests on top and allows air to circulate. This is for your desserts, for um, like macaroni and cheese, different casseroles, that type of thing. So what I'm gonna do is just show you how to do the hot dogs in here because those are quick, okay? And this is one of our freezer mates, but I use it in the fridge actually because it's modular and it fits a package of hot dogs perfectly. So I have two hot dogs left. Just gonna put them in there. And what's nice, oh, what's nice about this too is, real quick, is that it's non-stick. Um, so, you know, you're not gonna have major cleanup. Okay, so I have it in the grill position. And I'm gonna start it in the microwave just for about three minutes. And then we're gonna see where we're at. Okay. Okay, so now while that's cooking, in the microwave, I'm gonna show you the cold brew carafe. Now, my actual preference for coffee is hot coffee, so I brew this overnight in the fridge and then I heat it up. But I know a lot of people love cold brew, especially when the weather is warmer. And I also know how expensive cold brew is at Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks. Um, I was at my local grocery store recently and a 64 ounce bottle of Dunkin Donuts cold brew was $5, which is absolutely insane to me. So I'm just gonna show you our carafe because you save a ton of money by using this. Um, it's wet because I just washed it, but I'm gonna show you on here a couple of different lines. The first line is for regular strength cold brew, and this is one cup of medium to coarse uh, ground coffee. The second line is if you want to concentrate, and that's with two cups. It's important that the coffee is medium to coarse, because if it's finely ground, it will go right through the mesh strainer. So, without trying to make a huge mess, I'm just going to try to get all of this in here. I have about a cup. I'm doing regular strength. And I grind my own. I just use 8 o'clock whole bean coffee. You don't have to grind your own, but that's what I do. Okay, so we have the coffee grounds in. I have about five cups of room temperature filtered water. Okay. And that just goes right in. And this just does save you a ton of time in the morning, but it also saves you a lot of money um, think about it, you know, even if, okay, at a, in a modest estimate, you're going to spend $2.50 to $3 on your, you know, cup of cold brew in the morning at the drive thru So let's just say on average $15 a week, so $60 a month. That's a ton of money. Um, so this will save you a lot, a lot of money. So there we go. I'm just going to show you quick, too. So that just, when you're ready, obviously it's going to be several hours. So, your best tasting cold brew will brew at least eight hours. My recommendation is anywhere from 12 to 18, depending on how rich of a brew you want. I'm gonna grab the top for this and just show you something real quick about the top. The top actually doubles as a coaster. So when you pull this out, this will catch like any extra water. I'll just show you this real quick. So it kind of fits in there like that. Okay, so that's gonna go in the fridge. 
top rests on top. And this will be ready. I like to have a little coffee in the early evening. So around 7.30, I'll pull this out and it will be all set. And that was actually perfect timing because our hot dogs have completed their first round of cooking. And we're gonna pull those out. I'm just gonna grab my tongs here. So look at that. Already, they're starting to cook. And brown, we're gonna do about two more minutes tops, and these will be done. So this is great because my kids ask for hot dogs frequently, and I don't wanna always have to turn the grill on and waste the gas. Um, this just works out really nice. Okay, so that's gonna go in for two more minutes. Okay, so like I said, the Micro Pro can be used for other things. Um, the desserts, the grilled cheese, um, any type of meat. Um, but yeah, but my like I said, my favorite thing to do in, the, in those is uh, the chicken sausage and then the dessert that we made yesterday. Um, those were, that was really, really good. So yeah, so those are just, again, two items, the cold brew and the micro pro two items that um you know really help well not only simplify food prep um great for the summer of course but I mean, you can use it all year long too so yeah so that's it um but it still has another minute so i'm not gonna keep you on for uh, for that much longer but um but yeah so that's it